Is it a cruiser? A bobber? Perhaps a roadster? Royal Enfield Shotgun 650 defies easy categorization, as the global introduction of this latest offering suggests. According to Siddhartha Lal, the CEO of Royal Enfield, the Shotgun 650 represents a retro-futuristic interpretation of a factory custom motorcycle infused with authentic Royal Enfield DNA. He describes it as a shape-shifting machine that transcends conventional categories, confirming its roots in the 650 Twins platform which has already given us the INT650 and Continental GT standards, as well as the Super Meteor 650 Cruiser. The Shotgun 650 emerges as the production version of the SG650 concept unveiled at EC May 2021. This evolution of the brand's retro formula incorporates styling elements from the bobber, retro, and modern genres, creating a distinct identity that defies easy classification. Overview at its core, the shotgun retains the familiar 650 cubic centimeters engine, but places it in a more minimalist context. Custom features like chopped fenders and blacked-out components, along with adjustments to geometry and ergonomics, distinguish it from its 650 platform counterparts. While sharing certain components with the Super Meteor, such as the frame, gearbox, brakes, and some suspension elements, the shotgun presents a markedly different appearance with its shorter wheelbase, tighter rake, and taller seat. Visually, attention is drawn to the sharper bodywork, mid-set foot pegs, lower handlebar, and a new subframe. The redesigned 3.6-gallon teardrop fuel tank and a neo-modern aluminum nacelle housing the LED headlamp contribute to its distinctive aesthetic. The shotgun introduces new wheel sizes, with 18 inches up front and 17 inches at the rear, mounted on tubeless 10-spoke alloy rims. This alteration in wheel dimensions shifts the bike's stance, lowering the front and elevating the rear compared to the Super Meteor. Despite a slightly subdued appearance in the shiny bits and paint, the shotgun maintains the excellent build quality seen in its predecessor. The design team at Enfield envisions the shotgun as a blank canvas for customization, facilitated by the unique modular and removable subframe holding the passenger seat. This feature allows the shotgun to seamlessly transition between three modes, single-seater, double-seater, or luggage-hauling turrer, simply by turning a key and removing the pillion seat. This versatility not only enhances the bike's functionality, but also allows it to adopt three distinct looks, cockpit and ergonomics. In contrast to the relaxed and clamshell-like rider triangle of the Super Meteor, the shotgun's riding position is more performance-oriented. A floating solo saddle sits higher, flatter bars are positioned lower and forward, and foot pegs are set in the middle rather than forward. The cockpit view closely mirrors that of the Super Meteor, featuring a round digital analog main gauge. With a cable throttle, the shotgun eschews advanced features like ride modes and wheelie control, offering ABS, LED lighting, and a USB charging port as its primary electronic amenities. The premium-looking metal switch cubes, borrowed from the Super Meteor, are blacked out on the shotgun to align with its aesthetics. On the right, the familiar tripper navigation pod connects to your phone and the RE app via Bluetooth. Distinctively, the shotgun introduces the new RE Wingman in-app feature, providing updates on the motorcycle's location, fuel levels, service reminders, and more. Engine and Chassis the shotgun's engine is inherited from the Super Meteor, and its main steel tube spine chassis share similarities. Connecting to the same 43mm Showa USD fork up front and exposed RSU twin shocks at the rear, the shotgun's chassis maintains continuity with its platform predecessor. While the shotgun's fork is shorter, it employs the same big piston separate function internals with fixed damping and spring preload offering 4.7 inches of travel. The taller shocks, despite reduced travel, 3.5 inches compared to 4 inches on the Super Meteor, contribute to the overall dynamics of the shotgun. Braking duties on the shotgun are handled by Brembo subsidiary Bybri, featuring a 320mm front disc with a twin-piston caliper and a 300mm rear setup, also equipped with a twin-piston caliper. The standard twin-channel Bosch ABS ensures confident braking performance. Riding Impressions With the formidable reputation of the 650 engine, our anticipation for an exhilarating ride on the shotgun was well-founded. The air-slash oil-cooled SHC 648 cubic centimeters parallel twin, known for its robust power and output figures, delivered a memorable experience. Our familiarity with the INT650's dynamometer results from 2022, 
boasting 40.9 rear wheel horsepower and 37.4 pound FT of torque heightened our expectations. The straightforward elegance of its twin counterparts resonates in the shotgun. A simple turn of the key, followed by a press of the starter, clutch engagement, and you're off. The shotgun's smooth shifting gearbox complements its user-friendly clutch, offering both novices and experienced riders a seamless experience. The semi-attack riding position allows for responsive inputs, and despite a 31.3-inch saddle height, the ergonomic triangle provided all-day comfort for this 5-foot-6 rider. Featuring an accessible reach to the handlebars and a relaxed knee bend, while the parallel twin engine may not yank one's arms from their sockets, it proves to be a cooperative partner, exhibiting smooth and progressive power delivery. The engine's torque is predominantly felt in the lower rev range, readily available just off idle, with a robust mid-range. The light clutch action encourages short shifting, especially in tighter turns, adding to the overall engaging riding experience. With its 270-degree crank, the engine exudes character, offering ample torque whether navigating urban traffic or attacking winding roads. Addressing the shotgun's prowess in corners, the chassis impresses even during high-speed maneuvers, displaying unexpected stability and responsiveness for a 530-pound machine. Although not razor-sharp, the infield tracks precisely and handles predictably. Venturing through the mountainous terrain of Los Angeles, the shotgun's suspension faced the challenges of road depressions and washouts. The non-adjustable 43mm fork exhibited compliant damping, avoiding harshness, and the taller rear suspension, despite slightly reduced travel, proved less jarring compared to experiences with the Super Meteor. The big piston Showa fork establishes a planted feel, offering a solid connection to the road, while the rear shock excelled in absorbing bumps on the potholed streets of LA. Despite the inevitable scraping of pegs at modest lean angles, a common occurrence in downtown LA, there's no need for concern as the hard parts remain out of harm's way, according to representatives from Royal Enfield. As for the absence of a tachometer, the shotgun compensates with a wide power spread extending to around 7,000 RPM. Beyond this point, the engine begins to taper off, perceptible to the rider. The infield finds its contentment at approximately 70 to 75 miles per hour in top gear, exhibiting smooth operation thanks to precise fuel injection mapping. The six-speed transmission facilitates positive shifts with well-spaced ratios, tailored to suit the shotgun's distinct personality. In the canyons, despite the persistent grinding of pegs through each turn, the shotgun proves itself, tapping into its broad power band, making torque accessible across various RPM ranges typical of a street ride. In comparison to the Super Meteor, the shotgun feels more prompt, likely attributed to its slightly different gearing, lending it a roadster-like feel, a characteristic that adds to its appeal. Thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe if you like videos like this. Thank you.